Hi, hello everyone. My name is Mimi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a hooded eyeliner tutorial. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you how I did this eye makeup right here um, on my left eye uh, and why it works for hooded eyes. Um, but if you would first please subscribe, 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 and hit that bell. I would appreciate it. So now let's get on to the tutorial. For this, you are going to need a eyeliner pen. I'm using the um, Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner in Black. This is new to me. I just used it today to make this eye and it's super easy to use. Um, the package says that this is a liquid pen. It makes easy lines, smooth glide, no skipping. I would agree with all of that. The formula is very, very liquidy, which I like. It's not thick and goopy, and it's easy to apply to my lashes. I'm not sure you can tell or see, but I have a double row of eyelashes right at the end here and it makes putting on eyeliner kind of difficult. Um, it doesn't go all the way across, it's just at the end. Um, is this waterproof? I'm looking at the package, because I just, just opened it. Oh yes, I have the color pitch black and it is waterproof, so we'll see. Um, so that's one thing. You're also going to need a eyeliner pencil, and I'm using the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Studio Auto Liner. This is great. This is very black. It's very smooth. It's very easy to use. It's also a new to me product, and it's really good. And I also like that you don't have to sharpen it. I like that it's automatic and a Q-tip. Those are the things you're going to need. So, what you want to do is figure out where the end of your hood on your eye ends. Find that little edge. You want your eyeliner to literally go under that edge and out as far as you want. So, I'm gonna show you how I do it. It'll be a little bit different for everyone. Okay. And I'm going to steady myself on my little desk here and brush my eyelids down. Like this. Just so they're out of my way and kind of that way because they're long and then get in my way. Now, I close my eye because it makes it easier for me to see, but they literally say that you're supposed to leave it open, but I can't see, and I'm using a little magnifying mirror, so it's no help to me. So, I close my eye, I tilt my head back a little bit, and then, let me set up a bit. I find, I start with it, just, let me put a little dot there. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see, but I put a dot, a little black dot, and I don't want the eyeliner to go above that dot. It'll make a thin line. You'll see what I mean in a second. This eyeliner isn't running as easily as when I first used it. It was really... Okay, now I've got it going again. Um, I'm going to assume that I'm going to have to wipe this off after every use. Or it's going to get a coating on it and not work. So, okay, now it's working. 
And did you see that? It goes right, stops right at the edge of my hood. That's as far as I want it to go. And it's a very thin line. I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit. That's good, you see? Now this is how I would have done my eyeliner previously, and that's where I would have stopped it. But you can actually make the tail look thicker with a hooded eye, and it's a really easy thing to do. You want to draw a line from your bottom corner lash line up to where that one stopped. So you'll end up with a triangle. So you want to start at the bottom line, Go up. You know, the more I'm using this, the harder it is to use. It's not, the ink isn't running the way it did the first on this eye. I don't really like that. I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this product. Now you want to fill that triangle in. Make sure it's even with the other eye. glasses and make sure it's even. Right. Yeah, it's even. So now you see it just sort of ends right there where I drew the line up and there's a bunch of dead space right there. So that's where you want to use the um, the eyeliner pencil and you want to put a little bit of a line on the lower lash line and then smudge it with the q-tip you kind of connect the two just like that and then smudge it with your Q-tip to blend. Really blend it up into the, um, the line you drew on the upper lid and bring it down. Because you want it to kind of like shadow out and blend, blend evenly. are done and it's very easy and it actually gives you a more of a dramatic um, cat eye it's not crazy it's a very simple technique to do when you have hooded eyes and if you liked this please give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and tell me how I can improve I will talk to you later bye bye you put on my glasses so you can see or so I can see this and this is how it looks behind the glasses it's really pretty it's kind of smoky under the eye. Nice line. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.